Guys, welcome back to Stone Block 3. You may be wondering, what's up? Why am I flying? Why is this looking so cool? Where are we? Why do I have so much EMC? Why do I have an atomic disassembler? Why? Well, stay tuned to find out, guys. The journey of this video begins on Saturday morning. I had just woke up and I felt like doing something very useless at this stage of the game. A large loot crate opener. But I was upset that I had to peel it up every so often. So I was looking for ways to make myself fly, like gem armor. But I couldn't make it because I needed silverfish hearts. So I went the way I could. Nine stars and the ring called Swift Wolf's Rending Gale, which provides you with flight. To charge the stars, you need an antimatter relay. We needed an energy condenser, which needed an alchemical chest, a dark matter block, a red matter block, a dirt chest, and a crystal chest. The alchemical chest needed low covalence dust, medium covalence dust, high covalence diamond lattice, which was easy to make, amethyst, bronze ingot, and an obsidian chest as well as some stone. All easy to make. The covalence dusts are made in an energizing orb. 4 redstone and 1 times 2 compressed cobblestone give you the low one. 4 redstone and a zinc ingot give you the medium one. 4 coal and a diamond give you the high one. I made a setup with 9 nitro energizing road surrounding energizing orb to speed up the process. I made all the dusts, I made the alchemical chest, and then I made the energy condenser. Our first access to EMC. To make the energy condenser work, you pump EMC-able items into it and it converts that EMC into an item of your choice, but of course the item must have an EMC value. The next step is energy collector. We'll need two glowstone, one glass, one diamond block, one alchemical chest and one furnace. Bada bim bada boom. Make a few copies. Then we need an antimatter relay, which is almost the same as the energy collector, but you just replace the glowstone with obsidian. All right, place the last one. Bada bim, bada boom. All right, now I want to upgrade the antimatter relay into the Mark III one. Mark one for obsidian and a dark matter. We got Mark two. Mark two for obsidian and the red matter. And we should have Mark three. Noise. Our claim star is charged. And now we also need a specific ring. This one, the Sweet Wolf's Rending Gale. It's easy to make, to be honest. Four dark matter, four feathers, and an iron band. Now, if I take this, place it, and I place it, take the clanster in my inventory, I should be able to fly, guys. No, it's finally. Next thing, guys, is upgrading the energy collectors. One, two, three, four. Dark matter. Boom. Red matter. One, two, three, four. Glowstone. Boom. Level. Three. And now, guys, we can make the energy condenser mark two. Nice. Now, this guy should be able to keep up with all the emeralds. Let's make a stack. Oh my god. Our next goal was making energy collectors, but mark 15. Now, it goes like this an MK1 into the first one. Then you combine it with a dark matter for level two, red matter for level three, magenta matter level four, pink matter for level four, and basically each matter is uh, three matters of the previous level and six item analyst fuel. Now purple, for level 5, violet, blue, cyan. Now at this point the emeralds were just not enough. So I decided to make our first watch of flowing time. Noise! Our first watch of flowing time. Okay guys, let's see. Quite fast. It's much faster now. Nice. We made more watches. All right, guys. Now we we are getting overpowered, I guess. 
Uh, we got like nine roosts of uh, emerald chickens. We got the green matter that we need to upgrade it. Fine. Nice. Get more. I like lime, guys. These things. And let's start producing lime. Oops. Okay, guys, we got enough lime. What's the next color? Hello? Nice. Now we can upgrade two. Two, two. What, what it, will it be? Orange. Orange. Nice. White matter. Oh my god. This is getting ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh my god. Going like crazy, guys. <gasps> Fading matter. And I guess this is max. Yeah, this is maximum, guys. Now we upgrade this thing. Very nice. Oh my god, this is getting ridiculous. How much is that? 671 million per second. Look at this thing. Alright, guys. We are getting uh, OP. Now this thing is OP. This thing is OP. This thing is OP. I made my first energy EMC link, which is basically two low covalence dust, two medium, two high, and a red matter. Let's actually put it inside here. Oh my god, no, I don't want some. You see how OP we get, guys? Which is nice and uh, not nice at the same time. Anyways, what I wanted this for is for this thing. Fading power flower. Mark 15. It generates 20 billion. Well, 19 and a half billion AMC per second. Oh my god, guys. Now I need some fading compressed collectors. Yep, that works. And let's put this. Oh my god. What I mean, buddy. Boom. Place this in here instead. We got five. We got. Oh my god. Oh my god. We got 12. Alright, guys. So I think the flowers do not work for the energy condenser. The next thing we need is a personal EMC link. It allows you to import and export items using your own personal stored EMC, which is what the flowers that we may do. They generate EMC for you, for inside you. <laughs> So I connected the personal EMC link to the energy condenser using the EMC that the flowers make to make more flowers. Yeah. So I built the flower pyramid and now we have too much EMC. Then I decided it's time to head out to the mother silverfish. Now I didn't know I couldn't farm the silverfish for their hearts and I didn't know I need to go to the stone dungeon and to the never to get their hearts. So I just went straight for the mother. Now before I did that, I got some refined obsidian. You basically smell down obsidian, diamonds and osmium in a smeltery with blazing blood. So I upgraded my armor and I also got a sword that I never used. But anyways, to get to the end faster we made a catalytic lens this thing is amazing when it's fully charged guys it does like 64 blocks in a row so we got to the end very quickly all right guys i went ahead and looted the whole room i believe the best things we got are blood magic runes now let's go uh, find silver fish hearts okay so cold silverfish can be found in stone dungeons and this is one of them let's see how many we get all right guys so uh i believe our system is completely clogged up nothing is going in anymore but we got 10 cold silverfish shards now let's go back home and let's fix the storage issue all right guys so i automated the processes we got this thing that sounds like an alarm <laughs> i mean you've seen it you've seen it builder button crystals and just it just goes crazy with a watch of going time um now we got uh emc links pumping out diamonds golds then the quartz is pumping into the third one 
Then EMC is pumping silicone. The silicone is being pressed. And it's going in the second row of deployers. And the third row is uh, redstone. And a metal press makes the processors. And we make 10. 148. Okay, we'll just wait. Okay, guys. Now, while we wait for the processors to be done, we don't really need to wait. Let's get some warm silverfish hearts. There you go. Okay, I'm just gonna fly around and collect some and I'll be back. Yeah, guys, the amount of mobs here is insane. If I didn't have the, what do you call it? Sweet wolves. Oh my god. Rending ring. Uh, I die like. Uh, and flight, of course. I would die like a thousand times. Guys. Right, we got 10 more 256k. Uh, I think we have space here before we start. Uh, I mean, this wall, this wall will never be finished, guys. Never. Because uh, yeah, soon I'm just gonna start putting everything into EMC, into the tablet, and I guess all this will be gone. Now let's go to the end. All right, guys, we're at the end. Now, I don't even remember what we're looking for. All right, ritual starters. Ooh, nice. Well, I'm just going to look through all of them and see if I find them. Well, guys, I already have four. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to stay. I kind of like looting, <laughs> even though we don't really need it. But I'll just take everything. Why? Because I can. When I got back home, I made the drink me charm which is basically made by throwing a wild and horn on the nice. ground next to a drigme. I got the cold silver fish shards. I hope this is enough. We should need four hearts plus one. So five rituals, a stack plus 16. Yep, this is enough. And now let's finish off with the warm ones. All right, guys, we're back at the mother room. Now, this should be relevantly easy if we place a stasis chamber just under. And I don't even think we need to upgrade it, but let's do it. I don't need, I guess, in one of each. All right. Now, for the ritual, we need, so we need 16 cold silver, silver fish shards. Right click. 16 eggs, 16 warm silver fish shards, and we need to right click with the ritual spawner. All right, so the mother is stuck, and we can kill those guys with this thing. So, yeah, guys, that's gonna be easy. Maybe we should build a mob crusher just to get rid of all the assistants. All right, guys, I'll be back when I kill four of them. Hey, guys, we're almost done. Nice. We're done with the fourth one. Guys, this wasn't hard, but it was boring. All right, guys, now it's time to get into Ars Nouveau. Now I'm, I am in complete Ars Nouveau. So I have no idea what to do, guys. I'll just follow the quest line. But first, let's make a room for it. All right, guys. Check this out. We got a small corridor going into another room. And this is where the magic... Oh, there's no magic yet. This is kind of like an observing room. Then if we go down, new empty room. And I'll be back with some more progress report. All right, guys, progress report. We've got an, a refined EMC link set up which basically allows you to input items and use your EMC to output them. And I'm using an exchanging gadget to turn half of the room. Well, not half, but until this level, I'm turning everything into black concrete. Now, the next thing I want to do is start one row from the bottom. Oh my God, I can't see anything. And that means you can't see anything with some yellow on the sides and then basically going in with purple like a so well this is already looking nice and of course having emc and an infinity wand is so much easier
Our next decoration block was from Ars Nouveau and we needed source gems. To get this you need a pyramid chamber. It basically takes amethysts or lapis and converts them into source gems. Now you can provide it with source if you wish the process to be quicker. Next is to find a way to make source. There are five ways. The agronomic one, which is generating source when a plant grows nearby. The volcanic one, which basically consumes items that are burnable, like coal or logs. The vitalic sourcing, which generates from nearby mob death and animal breeding. The mycelial sourcing which generates source from nearby food and the alchemical sourcing which generates source by consuming potions. I went with the volcanic option. Very easy to automate. You just place some Ars Nouveau pedestals and you pump some blazing archwood into them. A personal EMC for the archwood works just fine. And now we got source. I also use the source relay splitter, which basically takes your source from one source link and splits them into different outputs. For example, different source jars. Now to do that, you need to right click on the source link, right click on the splitter. This will set the input. Then you right click on the splitter and right click on the jars. And all that you have to do with the dominion wand. Now that we had automated the source gems, we could finally make some arcane stone, which looked amazing guys, I absolutely loved it. As well as some gilded arcane stone, which was even more lovely. Amazing blocks. I placed the different options on the ground, just to have an idea of how they look. And I loved all of them. To get these variations, you need to use a stone cutter. Guys, I am absolutely in love with these blocks. They look amazing, guys. And the room is starting to look very, very cool. All right, guys, the room is done. Oh my God, guys, I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it. Check this out, guys. Doesn't this look amazing? Well, I love it. I personally love it. All right, let's get back to the thingy. Oh my god, guys. Well, the in the time I was building, we got like 11k of the source gems, which is amazing. All right, guys, completely unnecessary, but I want to make the Archmage armor. Okay guys, now for fun I want to make the Archmage armor. This is basically the best Ars Nouveau armor. Which gives you more mana. And I need the enchanting apparatus for source gems and a seed. Is it to build? Okay, we place an arcane core. Okay, how about that? Will this work? No recipe found. What am I doing? How about that? Oh, I see. So basically this enchant the item that you place into the enchanting apparatus. Nice. So we should get our first mage, mage bloom seed. Okay, now we just wait. Mage bloom. I think we can finally make the trigmy charm. Art? Yes. Seed three source gems one, two, three, four. Drink me. All right, drink me shards. Why did I use this seed? Ah, oh, we don't really need it. We can use this seed, anyways. All right, let's place this here. And we did get a drink me charm, I believe. Yes, we did. Nice. Hey guys, now I wanted the mage seed. Mage seed? Mage. Mage bloom seed. To make this mage bloom. Now this gives us mage bloom fiber. 
which allows us to craft, well, of course, craft different things, but also craft armor. Now I want to make the Archmage armor. All right, I've put in the recipes. Let's see if we have enough. Nice. Very nice. It's lo looking fancy. This is looking fancy, guys. <laughs> I can disguise myself in the purpleness of this room. Nice. It looks kind of cool, kind of noobish. Anyways. All right, guys. Next thing I want to do is place a scribes table. Easy to make. And here we can make spells. Huh. I need a spell book. So I guess this was our first quest. I started it the wrong way. <laughs> Anyways. Oh my god. Search. Light. This is what I want. Could you image light? How do I get it? I need a lantern and torch. Select. Torch. Toss. Okay. You. You. Ooh. Nice. How can I put it in the... Okay. How do I select it? Okay, guys. So I had to select it. Um, By default, it's C. Then you just go like this and eight. Let's see. That does not start with a form glitch. What? Oh, I see, guys. First, you need to select the form. It's going to be projectile conjure mage create. Hello. Pew, 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 pew. Pew. How do I delete that? Okay. Okay, guys, I finally figured it out. We need a touch to make this thing light up. Noise. Alright, guys, before I go, I want to see if I have any noise. Warp scrolls. I want to build a portal. Okay, let's go to the mother. <laughs> now I've uh, connected the scroll back home. So let's see. I think you just throw it. Ooh, nice. And this will teleport us back home. Now we need to set a location here. Okay. Like a so. Let's test it. Nice. Nice, very nice. Oh my god. Now we need a source jar. Cool one. Next to the portal. Throw the scroll. Nice. Nice. Boom. Very nice. Now let's start with the mother automation. So the first thing I need is to count 10 blocks. Oh my god. One. Three. Then. Okay, so basically this is the area. No, I actually need. Hold on a sec. To understand. Until where the stasis is working. This should be fine, right? I'm gonna fence off my Drigmis. Then I'm going to... Where is it? I had a mossy cobblestone. Anyways, I'll make one. Mossy. 
Pack a soul. Case a source jar. Volcanic source. It's going to be provided. Personal link. An arcane pedestal. Check. Blazing art. Then this into a pedestal. Actually, let's make. Uh, doesn't really. It's not necessary. Uh, the guy cannot keep up unless we put this thing. Let's place it here. That lava lily. How did this magma block? Okay, I guess this is the guy doing it, the volcanic source link. Yep. All right. Well, I like it. <laughs> All right. Next thing. Next thing. Next thing I want to do is place a mob crusher. Add upgrades and let's check. All right. Perfect. This should. Actually, let's move the whole thing. I'm scared that the monsters want to kill my drag mist. Oh guys, I made a home for our our Drigme. Hopefully he feels better. And then also I've read that if you bring in some mobs, different mobs, the happiness Oh my god, what are you doing, Ban? The happiness of the Drigme increases. Let's see, and it needs to be 10 blocks away from the Drigme. Now let's see, all you need to do is place a mossy cobblestone and right click on it. And there you go, the Drigme is here. Now we need to summon the mother. Oh my god. Okay, skill press. Wait. That's why I placed the mob crusher. Why is it not working? All right, guys. So the farm is working. This guy took a while, but he made too hard. But I'm not sure why the mob crusher is not working. Hey, guys. I'm not sure what happened. This thing is not killing anything. And the mother just died. And we only got two hearts. Well, maybe I should move the stasis chamber. Okay guys, trying one more time, but I moved the stasis chamber backwards. I'm gonna lead here this way. Let's see what happens. Hey guys, so I am unsure of what's up. She is not spawning any silverfish, and I believe this will work. As, well, the only thing I change is place the stasis chamber not directly under the summoning altar, but next to it. Well, two blocks away. I'm not sure if this is working, but the, there seems that there are no silver. Well, this one was stuck from before. Okay, and this is working. The guy is working. Perfect. Hey, guys, it takes a while, but it does make hearts. We got five, which is amazing. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. Nice. Very nice. What did I want to make? I think it was the neutron collector. It's actually very easy to make. You guys should be able to make it. Nice. And just EMC it, I believe. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, that's so cheery, guys. That's so cheery. Anyways, let's get it. 
Yeah, guys, that's not going to work. That's too many of them. Let's just pick them up. And I started to lag, guys. <laughs> so we're just gonna cheat it, as always, with some uh, watches of flowing time. Alright, guys, we're gonna make the Dark Matter pickaxe. Noise. Very nice. And then we're also going into the red marker. Nice. Very nice. Now we should be able to break dark matter pedestals now. Nice. Alright guys, now I think we're finally able to make the transmutation tape. Everything is emc -able. Except the hearts and the neutronium nuggets. But just by breaking this huge wall I made, I got so many nuggets, guys. Alright, guys, we should have everything. And we're ready to make the transmutation table. Oh my god, nice, 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 nice. Oh, nice. So something was teaching, I think it was this thing. Or I don't know, I don't know. Something was teaching this things now guys what i'm gonna do is just get all this into here probably will take two ages maybe there's a better way but i i'm not sure where is it how is it going in could be that it's not and i'm just being a noob most likely okay guys so i'm just being a noob it doesn't work like that <laughs> so i'm just gonna take one of each item and just store it inside here Alright guys, I did a massive cleanup. All the AMC items are now in the transmutation table. I've removed most of the contraptions that were considered as entities, such as wheels. Wow, this is stopped now, this was lagging me a bit. I replaced the magma, magmators, with the four reactors and yeah guys we're just ready to go on emc so guys i afk for like 46 hours i believe and we got a bunch of hearts so goodbye mother silverfish i really hope i never see you again at this point i had almost 30k of search gems i'm not sure how many we will need but hopefully this is getting closer to what we need and we have about 9k of Neutronium ingots. Now, with the power of EMC, we should be able to make the neutronium compressor. Nice! Let's get our first singularity, guys! But first, I made another 22 neutron compressors. Neutronium compressors. And I placed them in a room without design. We will get back to the design next episode. Now, Let's start with the easy singularities. And by easy, I mean EMC-able. To begin with, we need some flux. So we need some pulverized obsidian or obsidian dust. It's gone. Where is it? There it is. Now we go to our mechanism metallurgic infusers or ultimate factories. And just put it here. And we get flux dust. Now we teleport to our... EMC compressed refined EMC link and just shift click the flux dust. Now we need a flux core, easy to make. Then we need a flux block, just like that. EMC it. That's it. We're done. <laughs> All right, guys. Now for the first nine, you just want to place a personal EMC link. Maybe not here, but here. And maybe not here. But here, <laughs> yeah, like so, create it, place the item you want to pump out, and it just starts pumping out the item. I will do the same for magenta matter, mop filter, palette and brush, infused ender pearl, corrupted ingot, and block of enderium, flux block, and never star. These are very easy. Noise. So today we got pallet and brush, infused enderpearl, flux block, not overclocker, corrupted ingot, pet filter, enderium block, never star, magenda matter, started. Of course, of course I mean started guys. This will now take some time to finish off. Anyways, at least they will be running now in the background. Anyways, anyways, I think we can make two more today. Source gem or at least start them. 
I mean, we can also make Mopsil. Let's do them. Nice. All right, guys, we got the source one. Nice. We got the Mopsil. Nice. And we got the XP Jelly Baby one. Nice. All right, guys. Well, to finish off, I did AFK a bit and we got almost all of them. Almost all of them up to 2k. Now, the only one left from today's episode is the pallet one. Yeah, this thing just takes so much time. Pallet and brush. And I also, I am experiencing some weird stuff in game. Hopefully my word doesn't crash. See, why is it lagging? I can't go back. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the episode. <laughs> I really hope uh, you liked it. And uh, I'm wishing you all a happy new year. I'm wishing you all uh, to spend some time with your family. To enjoy some rest if you're working be careful guys not to overwork you you gotta rest guys if you're studying again be careful not to overstress yourself you just have to rest sometimes guys anyways guys i'm wishing you all a happy new year and i'll see you in the new year cheers guys bye